A typical fun night out with friends ended tragically on this dark road more than two decades ago. Philip Zarillo was just 22 years old when he was hit and killed by a driver who took off, leaving him on the road to die. The mystery has left state police and his family searching for answers for years. The family took me back 25 years to that night when it all happened. That's the field that, you know, he ended up in, just laying there for, well, nobody really knows how long, but it is hard coming back. You know, we drive this road every day and, you know, the memories here. It's never going to go away. Behind me is where the hit and run happened almost 25 years ago, and it's left a family still searching for closure. When I go out into the back yard of the group home that I work at, um, I can look out to the spot where my brother was hit. But for this heartbroken family, there's hope that the answers they've been looking for may soon come. Just last year, a woman came forward at a local gas station where she came face to face with the son, Philip Zarillo, left behind. You know, went on to tell me that, you know, she was there in the vehicle that hit him that night. He doesn't know the woman's name or where she's from, but he went straight to police, hoping they could find her again. I swear it was yesterday. And I just left him. Uh, just left him in the field. Flipping through memories of happier times, the Zarillo family says they don't want to see anyone punished. They just want answers to give them closure after 25 years of pain. Reporting in Cortland, I'm Samantha German.